So before we get into this video, check out these earrings, which are perfect for today's video. So I have done a video on health checks before, but this time it's going to be like a physical video. I obviously can't use my boys because they are asleep, but I have got some things. First of all, get yourself to Morrison's Valentine's range. It is supposed to be a guinea pig, but I've never seen a guinea pig that looks like that. It is obviously a hamster and it is now mine. I think, I think they're only about four pound. Yeah, look. Guinea pig, you are not a fucking guinea pig. Language, you are a hamster. But it will be a bit difficult to do a health check on this little guy. Um, if you can think of a name for him, let me know and uh, we'll name him and you'll get a shout out. I'm gonna do that on Instagram. So we're gonna health check on this little guy. We're gonna health check. We're gonna health check. On this little guy. Who thinks he's a parrot? Who thinks he's a parrot? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so with any animal, you're always going to start from the head to the genital area. You, you don't do it the other way for obvious reasons. Uh, let me sit down. I may be moving like a sloth today because um, I had a minor surgery yesterday. I've had two strange moles removed and I am now stitched up and in a lot of pain. <laughs> so, the first thing you do before you even touch your hamster is let's do him like he's walking around a cage. Um, <laughs> I need to get it together. So, <laughs> right. Serious. So, yeah, so you're taking a look. Is his gait okay? Like, is his limbs or her limbs moving in proportion with the rest? Um, does their back, I know this one doesn't. You're a naughty hamster. Does their back curve like that? Oh my god, it looks so weird on here. Like that, not like that, or straight. Um, what else? Do they just look good in general? And um, yeah, can you see anything from not touching them? Is everything intact? And also, what was my also? Oh, also, how is their temperament? Um, are they acting normally, behaviour-wise? Um, are they being aggressive? Are they seeming upset? Because hamsters are really good at hiding pain. All prey animals are, due to when they are out in the wild, they cannot act hurt if they are hurt, because that is just then, like, a radar to all predators going beep, 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 beep. come and eat me beep, 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 beep. I'm vulnerable beep, 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 beep. so if we don't do that I bet my neighbour thinks I'm fucking crazy so what you're gonna do is your hamster's there you're gonna go underneath and scoop them up so go underneath and scoop them up so now you're holding them do we feel a normal weight you can get a closer look see if we're all right and um, if you have, well, you can then hold them like this but support their bum. So like, like this, support them. Um, I also put a finger up here too to support their head but you don't have to do that because they're not babies. Um, but if you have got a funny hamster, I mean Reggie's funny but even he lets me pick him up like this. You can scruff them, which is what vets normally do. So you grab the skin on the back of their neck and just pull it and then flip them onto their back. 
this is very distressing but if you need to get to the bottom of a problem and they're not letting you it's your only choice so when you scruff them as well they normally open their mouths so you can have a good look at the teeth yeah that's cool bam and um yeah so when you've got your hamster like this what you can then do is have a proper look at the eyes so eyes should be free of any cloudiness they should be clear and bright and free of any discharge so if that's looking good that's looking good then you go to check their ears so the ears they should also look clean and free of discharge and um, they shouldn't be flaky or irritated next I would move on to nose so check the nose for discharge it should look normal to what your hamster normally looks like and then mouth if your hamster will let you put your finger here pull down and have a look at the teeth or if the funny buggers like mine get a treat and like put it so like I'm I'm gonna have to demonstrate it aren't I so we're going like ah uh, ah uh, trying to get it don't screenshot that <laughs> and then you can see the teeth um so teeth should be like in yellow orangey colour if they are white there is something wrong and um hamsters teeth grow continuously so you need to check that they are a decent length not too long and not broken so then what we do is we look at the fur and the skin if you can get through to it so this is basically checking to see if the fur looks shiny so it should look shiny but not greasy if it is greasy make sure they're using the sand bath but yeah it should look shiny it shouldn't look dull um if there's any alopecia which is hair loss that is also a problem but the scent glands which are here on a male and here um well on a syrian they're very prominent in males and that does look a bit like alopecia but i can assure you it's not that's just because they they sometimes well they clean the scent glands a lot and uh, they're constantly rubbing them on things so that obviously removes fur um, on dwarfs the scent glands are here on their tummies so any hair loss there is completely normal don't worry about it and then you're brushing through the fur to check if you can see any ectoparasites so that's basically parasites that live on the outside like ticks mites fleas but the most common one in hamsters is mites and they can be microscopic so you just have to check for the signs then we have a look at the limbs so do the limbs feel all right um have they got all of their toes <laughs> and then you need to check the nail length because once again like the teeth the nails continuously grow a great thing I would recommend is a scratchy tile like I've got Reggie and Pumpkin um, that's really good and also like enrichment what they can scratch different textures in the cage if not you're gonna have to grin and bear it and clip them yourself or take them to a vet to clip I'd highly recommend taking to a vet because if I tried to do it myself I'd um, get eaten <laughs> so you check a fair fine do all them checks on all four limbs and then if you get them like that they'll normally have the legs open anyway because like oh what are you doing to me but you can then check their genitals so you need to make sure that they are clear of discharge unless you've got a female if she's in estrus she can well she will have discharge it's just a common thing like any animal in estrus 
if you don't know what estrus, di estrus is, it's uh, basically in heat, getting ready to mate and get pregnant. But obviously, like, hopefully your female is on its own and it won't mate. So she will get a bit of discharge. But on males, there shouldn't be. It should also, the area should also look clean. And, um, yeah, clean. Uh, check for any poo on the anus, especially on long-haired hamsters. You might have to just brush that out or pick it out if you're feeling brave. Um, because that can lead to problems. Um, also, if there is excessive poo, well, there shouldn't be any poo on there. But if there is, you might need to take them to the vet because it could be a sign of diarrhea, which is really not good in hamsters. And tail, that should be intact. So, whilst you are feeling the fur and stuff, obviously feel fog lumps and stuff. If you're feeling brave, um, I would totally recommend this. It's very taboo <laughs> for non-hamster owners. But when you're checking the genitals, uh, feel the male's testicles, see if you can find anything abnormal in there. Um, not so much for the females because they don't have testicles. Unless you've got a special hamster, then slay. But um, then we're gonna get on to weighing. So um, what I do, because my boys are fussy, I stick them in a glass jug. I obviously put the jug on the scale first and reset it so it's used to the jug's weight. I put my boys in it one at a time and wear them that way. But if you have got a good hamster, you can just put your hamster on the scale with a treat and do it that way. And um, I'd recommend doing this weekly so you can detect any changes in the weight, any drastic changes, check if they're getting underweight or overweight, it's useful to do. And between then, you can just do body condition scores, which is having a look. You can Google these, they're really good, body condition scores. One is underweight and five is very overweight. Um, we aim for animals to be a free. So, I'd say this guy's, whew, this guy's a two. Look, I can, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. But yeah, that's my health checks and daily health checks, you, you could do those about once a week, but daily health checks would basically be check the water and food intake, um, see if they're eating because animals can be anorexic if they have like underlying health problems, dental problems, the list goes on. Um, check that they're drinking because that's very important. Um, when you're having a spot clean, check the feces. Does it look normal? Is it watery? Um, check that they're urinating. Um, that's it really. And any problems, straight away get booked in with your vet. Preferably an, exo an exotic vet. But I found vets, luckily, that are good with hamsters because there is no exotic vets around me. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so keep on top of health checks and take your hamsters to the vet if there is any problems, obviously. Let's just thank my wonderful assistant. Well done, you've been a beautiful assistant. Glamorous, very glamorous indeed. Now I'll put you back. Yeah, so that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, leave a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and go and check out my other playlists. Okay, bye!